beautifuls, welcome back to another episode of Tried and Tested. Okay, today's episode is something that a lot of you have been requesting. It is on mascaras. So we picked three. This one is my favourite, it's the L'Oreal Double Extend. And it's just really good. It's got fibre on one side and mascara on the other side. It lengthens everything out. And this one is the Brow Lash EX Lash Sculpture. The brush is a very special comb brush and it's supposed to separate and lengthen without plumps. So that's what you're looking out for. This one is the Heroin Make Impact Frame Mascara and it's supposed to give you volume, length, also it's supposed to be waterproof. So it's supposed to be like an all-in-one. So hopefully it works. I love it when it works. Okay, so before you apply any mascara, you first have to curl your lashes. Now I show you my favourite mascara. This is the L'Oreal Double Extend. Okay, so the white part right, is basically like fibres. So you coat it with fibres. So before the white part dries, coat it with the black. So you start at the base and then you wiggle your way up. And it separates and coats at the same time. Check that out. Okay, so as you can see, there's a huge difference between this, these eyelashes and these eyelashes. Like, this one is really open all the way up and it lengthens so much. Like, usually I can't even see my eyelashes. And on top of that, it stays very well. And this, it doesn't smudge for me. And it's not very clumpy as well. I would rate this a 9.5. <laughs> uh, because, I don't know, it just works for me. It's just one of the mascaras that I tried and went, okay, this is the one. Okay, so I'm back and this time I have the Lash Sculpture Long Separate Mascara from Brow Lash EX. And this is supposed to lengthen and separate with lengthen and separate without clumping. So we'll see. Ah, so this is what's so special about it. See the comb? And there are a lot, a lot, a lot of bristles and it's nicely curved. See? The combs really like grab onto all your lashes. What else? This feels very. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right word, but it feels very elegant because it's so thin and so dainty. Like my own, the, my favorite one is like the brush is so big, right? You kind of like it feels like it'll get everywhere. But this one, it just goes onto the lashes, so you don't really worry about it knocking on like your eyes and leaving like stains or anything. It's quite neat and quite targeted. <laughs> I think I would give this a 9.5 because it's, old, it's really very good. And what I like more about this one is that it's neat. It's very neat and very precise and my lashes don't look as comfy as just now. Mm. But I feel very loyal to my L'Oreal. But this is very good. 9.5, same, equal. Next one. Okay, so the first two mascaras, they gave length. But they didn't really give volume. So I am holding in my hand the Heroin Make impact frame and curl mascara and this is supposed to give length, volume and it's also supposed to be waterproof. So I've left this side on, the brow lash one, so I'm going to try on this side and see what the difference is. Oh, it's a very interesting brush. This side, with no brush on it, this is for you to apply the product onto your eyelashes. And then, you use this brush to comb the product through. And then, you use the tip to do the bottom lashes. This is a very interesting brush. I want to try and see if this really works. It's almost like a scrub. It's like you're scrubbing the stuff through your eyelashes. Does that even make sense? This is really cool. This definitely gave more volume. Like it really has a lot more volume. But I think this one's just a little bit longer than this side. This is also gets a 9.5 because it really delivers what it's... Oh, hold on. Can you check one more thing? To check whether or not it's waterproof. It's, it's really not budging. So, we did the water test and it really is waterproof. This is awesome. 9.7! Hmm, I think it's a 9.7 because it gives length and volume, maybe not as long as this side, but I think the volume really makes a difference because your lashes look darker and longer. Okay, you know what? It's so powerful, right, that it has its own mascara remover. So here's how this works, okay? You coat it, top and bottom. You know what, I'm going to try on this side as well and see if that works. 
Okay, so for the heroin made mascara remover, you can just use a dry cotton pad and you wipe it off. So like this. So yeah, this is all you need. Like you don't need any additional makeup remover um, for the mascara. It just comes right up. It's worked really well on the heroin made one, which is what it was made for. If you're thinking of getting a remover by itself, it may not work for all mascaras. Yeah, I've tried it on the L'Oreal Double Extend, it didn't work on that. And this one is clearly not as effective as it was on this. But whichever, whatever remover you use, remember to soak the cotton pad first and then make sure that it's soaked onto your eye for a while. Like hold it there, just hold it there and let the remover go into your mascara. And then gently get it off like that. Okay, so we've come to the end of the episode. Now all three of these, do different things, right? So these two are very good for lengthening and this one is supposed to be nourishing. <laughs> yes, it is. And this one, because of the comb brush applicator, I think is pretty awesome. But if you're talking about volumizing, this one wins, hands down. This one is great for volumizing, um, but not as good in lengthening as this one. <laughs> It's very difficult to decide which one. I like all of them. So it's up to you to decide which one you like, which one you want, okay? But thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope you learned something. If you want to find out more about the products, where to get them, how much they are, go to our Facebook page. If you want to tell us what you want us to try, comment box down below. Alright, thank you very much for joining us. Go be beautiful. <laughs>